Ah yes, Kinigaman. If you don't know who that is, it's this guy. He is part of a manga who eventually turned into an anime series, which was so popular in Japan, Mattel decided to make a toy line based off of it. Yeah, I know, it's kind of weird having a having a toy line based on a cartoon that never made it in, into America. You know, these things. And, of course, with every marketing genius, there has to be a few video games to put out. One of those video games was Muscle, which was known in Japan as Kinikuman Tag Team. Now, the game Muscle has been reviewed by perhaps one of the worst reviewers to grace his presence on YouTube. The Irate Gamer. Yes, people, he has his own t-shirt now. Oh my god. You see, the Irate Gamer played this game, and he claims that the only thing you can do is jump, punch, and kick. I'm going to get a little more in-depth with this review. Unlike him, who's swearing like every five seconds and saying monkey fucks and shit like that, I am going to actually go in-depth and talk about the game instead of just playing it for five minutes and say fuck it, this game sucks. As you see here, there are only eight characters you can select as. And hey, actually this is a welcome treat, because in pro wrestling you only had like freaking what, five? So, okay. So the character lineup isn't that great. But hey, these are characters that were most predominant in the Kinikuman series. So, that works. The characters you can play as are... Kinikuman, Terry Man, Ramen Man, Robin Mask, Buffalo Man, Wars Man, Osher Man, and Brocken Jr., which was only in the Japanese version because apparently it was a bad idea to ship a... to ship a Nintendo game geared to her kids with a Nazi in it who shoots poison gas at you, so they decided to replace him with Geronimo. So you're probably wondering... Well, how does the game work? Well, you get your basic one or two player. Since it is called Muscle Tag Team, you get to choose two characters. For the sake of this review, I shall choose Buff Buffalo Man and Brock and Jr. And the computer, aka the character I'm going to fight against, is going to be... Eh, just two random bucks. Okay. So the gameplay works as this. You push the B button to jump, and you push the A button to attack. Pretty freaking simple, huh? Now, Irate Gamer said you can only jump and punch. Well, you can jump and punch in this game, but you can also do a lot more. You can punch, you can throw under the ropes, you can backdrop, you can do a jump kick, which I completely missed because I'm a tard. Come on. And, this is random, but Meet Alexandria from the anime will show up and he'll throw a powerball at ya. Whoever collects that powerball, see? Whoever collects that powerball will be able to inflict their special. Because I'm Brock and Jr., and he's a Nazi, he shoots poison gas at you. Now, for the sake of this, let's switch over to, to Buffalo Man. Who will proceed to beat the ever-living crap out of that British fuck Robin mask. Backdrop of Doom. Okay, so I gave you the basic gameplay, but what exactly are the finishers? Forest Man does the double claw screwdriver. Ramen Man does the Leg Lariat. Terry Man does the... I mean, uh... Sorry. Buffalo Man does the Hurricane Mixer. Kaneku Man does the Kaneku Driver. Which is actually the most strongest move in the game. Osher Man does the Osher Buster. Which actually looks more like an atomic drop. 
Robin Masters Tower Bridge. And there's the cat friend. One cool thing about this game is that you think you're done, right? After you beat them for two rounds? Well, it shows the friggin' trophy, but guess what? It surprises you. You're in a different arena. You're in an ice arena. The floor is slippery and sliding. Irate Gamer failed to mention that there's three types of arenas you can fight in. The first is a normal arena. The second is an ice arena. And the third... Which I don't think was included in this version, because I beat two rounds and I wasn't able to get it, but... I don't know if this is just a buggy ROM or what, but the third version... The third ring is supposed to be a deathmatch arena, where the rope... Where the, where the floor is even slippier and slidier, and if you touch the ropes, you get shocked and you lose health. And as you can see, I'm making uh, Buffalo Man my bitch right now. This is fun. Hey, get back here, you motherfucker. Oh, now you're getting it. Now you're gonna get it. Tower Bridge! <laughs> Ichiban! So, yeah. In conclusion, Kinikuman Muscle Tag Tournament is not pro wrestling or techno wrestling, but it is still a really fun wrestling game. Even for its time, I still love this game. Not because I'm just a Kinika Man fan, but because of the stuff you can do and the nostalgia of it. I used to own this game when I was a kid, the American version. I find a new appreciation of it now that I'm getting into the series and playing the whole Japanese version. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So yeah, fuck what Irate Gamer says. He doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. This is coming from a true gamer. Kinikuman Tag Team Wrestling Championship fucking rocks. Big Al, over and out.